you've been killing yourself, now you have these ones. Have a go. Centrum. Centrum B, and you name them. Eh? Bico active. And act active Bico. And the rest of it. Subhanallah. Ni'matani mazboonun fihi man kathiru min al-nas. As-sihha wal-faraag. They are two of Allah's favors which many people do not take advantage of. And this is health and free time. <coughs> health and free time is something believers, not only the kafir, the kafir anyway waste their whole life. But the Muslims sit there watching the World Cup. What is that World Cup going to do for you? And you're going to get a piece of that gold. You're going to plan a movement, you go and get the World Cup and bring it home, put it on your table. What on earth is this World Cup going to give you? Mm -hmm. If you go play some football, fine, I can, I can understand, yeah, my man is playing football, becoming active, he's not going to get the big belly, mashallah, he's going to be so active and productive, and this is different, but why do you need to sit there for hours at a time just watching games and watching, wasting your life away? Not only the female, but the male, subhanAllah. Everyone is sitting there watching and raising their life. as wal Their health and their wealth, subhanAllah. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in another hadith, Indeed, the force of Allah's favors are the person will be questioned about on the day of judgment. Did you make your body healthy and get an uh, Did we not make your body healthy? and gave you cold water to drink. Prophet Alameen will ask us about this. He will ask you about the water because water is good for you. Lucasade, no good for you. Sprite, no good for you. Um, Pe Pepsi, no good for you. Anything that's fizzy, no good. Gatorade and Lucasade are all money, money ventures to steal your money from your pocket and they tell you get strong. No, you don't. They're fooling you. Water. Your body needs water. Your body needs water because you need to be healthy. You need to become more alkaline. Alkalinity. Zam Zam, water is alkaline. It's full of alkalinity. And Zam Zam water is full of Baraka. Any water that is alkaline, whether it's Zamzam or Kangen, these are all water that give you alkalinity like avocado, like orange, like green tea, like green vegetables. So here you have the water that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us is something great. 70 billion, 70 trillion cells in your body needs water. The oxygen in your body doesn't go anywhere unless there is water. Your nerve system needs water. Your thought process takes place in water. Water is great. No wonder why the companions live on water and dates. They live on water and dates and they won the battle of Badr. They live on water and dates and they were winning the battle of Uhud. They were living on water and dates and they went to Tabuk, more than 1400 km. They live on water and dates and they went to Hunain and the Sariya this and the Sariya that in every single place, water and dates. And sometimes Rabbul Alameen gave them really good food. On one expedition, they found this such a big whale. Nine men, eleven men stood in the ice sock of this whale. On the beach, Rabbul Alameen not only gave them water and dates, but Rabbul Alameen gave them miracles, animals, hunting. On one occasion, he gave them a massive, massive, massive fish. Subhanallah, eleven of the companions stood in this ice sock of this, this fish. And there was still enough space, like an arch. And they took back some of that meat to Rasulullah sallallahu For 29 days they were eating and they couldn't even eat part of this fish. Never mind a major portion of this fish. 
So the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, when they went back to him and they told him about this miracle and this massive fish, he said, "I hope you have some for me as well." He really wanted to take from this fish, and they said, "Here you go." They said, "Here you go, Ya Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam," and he ate from this fish. What is great, Ayyuhan Nas? The more water you drink, the more strong and healthy you will be. Well-being, afia, is usually used interchangeably with health. However, well-being in Islam is more general and meaning in reference to physical and mental health. Physically and mentally. It can refer to financial success and security, and most importantly, it can refer to religious and spiritual righteousness, or to prosperity and salvation in the hereafter. Ibn al-Qayyim al-Jawzi says, health and well-being are among Allah's greatest favors and most bountiful gifts to his servants. Rather, absolute well-being is unconditionally the greatest favor. Thus, it is a right upon him who has been granted a portion of well-being to preserve it and protect it from all harm. So the more junk food you eat, the more you oppress it yourself. And the more, the less you take care of your diet, the more you are destroying your health. And we have seen the result of this, not only on the counters of the pharmacies, but you've seen it in the queues at the NHS, and we see it every single day with our old grandparents, because they have lived, they led a life that is full of negligence. So now they have to suffer the consequences. One handful of pill before and after meal, three, four times a day. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Abu Bakr radallahu alayhi wa sallam, the Prophet used to say, Sallallahu al afu wal mu'afat, fama uti ahdun ba'd al yaqeen khayru min al afiyah. Ask Allah for forgiveness and well being. Every time you lift your hands, how many of us usually say, Rabbi, I ask you for good health. Did you know that this is from the good this is from the goodness of Islam? Asking and begging for good health, not only when you're lying in the beds in the hospitals or when you're in upon ailment, no, asking for good health now is the time. Every time. Barakallahu li wa lakum fil Quran al Ali wa Rafahi wa Yakum Mafihi al Ayati wa Dikul Hakim, Akuluma just ma'am was stuck for Lahi wa lakum. ولسائر المسلمين من كل ذنب وخطيئة فاستغفروا إنه هو التواب الرحيم إن الحمد لله نحمده حمدا طيبا مباركا فيه كما يحبه الله ويرضى به Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to say, recorded by Ibn al-Tirmidhi, Ibn Maj, and verified authentic by Al-Albani, rahimahullah. Ask Allah for forgiveness and well-being. No one can be given after certitude of faith. Believe better than well-being. After you have full yaqeen and good faith in Rabbul Alameen, the next most gracious bounty from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is for you to have good health. Wallahi, if you go to Linfield Mount there, you will see, you will see dozens of Muslims in that institution. You will see dozens of Muslims, hundreds of Muslims, subhanAllah. They despair and then they disappear in the mental institutions because they suffer themselves. They oppress themselves. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا ظَلَمَهُمُ اللَّهُ Allah doesn't oppress the people. وَمَا ظَلَمَهُمُ اللَّهُ وَلَكِنْ كَانُوا أَنفُسَهُمْ يَظْلِمُونَ They can oppress their own selves. Many of them sit in a little bit, but Allah is because they neglect themselves. So the sister, she sits there thinking about her husband is going to have second marriage now. And she goes pagal. And in any way, whether she goes pagal or not, this man is still going to have his second and his third and his fourth wife. So it's a wake-up call for the sisters, really. Don't go mental. Just share. Sharing is great. Sister, sister sits there because the husband says, you know what? Our custom says you have to go take, cook the food, 
bring the food, and when I'm finished, take the plates back. If not, you're divorced. So she sits there and she's like going mental now after several years, four or five kids. Now she goes mental because this man sits like a Maharaja where he sits like a king. And she does everything. So what the sister does now, she goes into a mental state where she's now taking her shoes and she's lashing her head. And then a few weeks later now the sister said this is enough. And she went and took petrol and went on her balcony and she she, she bathed herself with this petrol and she said, here you go, masalam to the dunya. I'm tired of this.